Hey everyone, it's Dan from UMedia Chicago, and I'm going to be bringing you a series of tutorials on Pixlr, which is kind of similar to Photoshop, except it doesn't cost a million dollars, it's just on the internet. So you go to pixlr.com like this, and you're already, you're doing it, you're pixlaring. So you got two choices when you open it up, Pixlr Editor or Express. Express is basically if you want to apply some like Instagram filters to pictures of your dessert. So real editors use Editor. So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to open up an image here. You can open from your computer and just select the image. Or another option at its base is to create a new image. So if you just go to File and New Image, you can name your file and also give it some dimensions. There are some preset dimensions here which you can use, like HD or whatever, and you can also uh, put in your own dimensions. Let's say I wanted to make a flyer for 8.5 by 11 paper. I'd want to set dimensions to 2550 and 3300 respectively, and that would give me a good size for that. Just click OK, and then a blank document will come up. And you're off to the races, Pixlr races. Highly competitive. So other than that, the menu is pretty much what you'd expect. You can open images from URLs, save, print. One thing about this save function that's worth mentioning is that Pixlr automatically downscales your quality to 80%. But I always just turn that back to 100 to keep things quality. It doesn't save you that much hard drive space, really. And, you know, this is what the kids are talking about when they say keep it 100. That's, that's what it means. They're all talking about Pixlr, so... So yeah, this video will be the first in a series of videos. Um, the next ones will go a little deeper and give you different editing and creating techniques. This one's just kind of introducing you to the interface, so stay tuned for more.